Okay, I'd like to uh, introduce a principal moment. Okay, it's called Varian's theorem. Look at this picture right here. Now we have a force, Fr. Okay. Now this force is applied at this point. Okay. And then I want to take the moment okay, of this force, Fr, about point L. So what I do is just take a cross product. Okay, between this R vector and this FR. This is exactly moment. Okay, moment created by this FR about point O. Okay, now this FR can be resolved into components. Okay, I just chose to resolve it into this F1 and F2 direction. Okay, so you can draw a parallelogram, right? So this is the length of F1, length of F2, this way. So FR vector okay, can be re-expressed as F1 vector plus F2 vector, right? It's a sum, a vector sum, okay? So of these two components. Okay, now property of, now one of the properties, cross product, is distributive. Okay, so you can distribute this cross product into this sum right here. So it becomes R cross F1, so R cross with F1, plus R cross F2 right here. And R cross F1 is exactly the moment of F1 component vector about point O, which is MO1. Okay, just probably call it. This guy is exactly MO2. Okay, so this theorem states that the moment of a force about a certain point, a point O, is exactly equal to the moment of the component of this force about the same point O. That's all. Okay? And there's examples in the book. Uh, I recommend you, you go over it. Uh, example 4.5 and 4.6 and so on. Okay? So, now, kind of a special case. And we talked about the general like, three dimensional space. Now, what if it's just a simple 2D case? Right? So, force and then this R vector is all in 2D. Let's say X and Y dimensions. So, everything should be you know, reduced down to a quite simpler form, right? So, basic definition is the same. So, moment vector about point O equals to R cross F. So, R is right here, okay, to this point, and this point is where this force is being applied, this F vector. Now, this F vector can be resolved into X and Y component this way. And R vector is exactly equal to x r equals to x this length right here i plus the y height j direction okay so just plug it in so r is this right here cross it with force is this right here fxi and, and fyj to so the cross product now this is two dimensional so the result when you when you cross x with y Okay. It gives you K. Right. So the result is the K direction. Okay. And so it becomes two by two determinant. Alright. First row is the R component. Second row is the F component. Carry out the cross product. That's it. Alright, so only have two terms in here. Okay. This minus that and the result is in k direction, okay? So, k direction, positive k is going out this way. So, if m naught, okay, whatever it is, it's a number now, right? Because this is the, uh, the scalar, right? m naught, okay? If this scalar m naught is positive, this means that this moment vector is coming out of the paper, okay? Or out of the board, right? Right hand rule, x cross it with y if you z. Right? So if m naught is a negative number, then simply just flip the direction. Right? So this m naught is going actually going into the board. That's all. Okay, so it's pretty easy stuff. Now, what if, however, this r vector doesn't start from this origin? Oh, let's say I want to measure from A to B. 
Okay, so this this could be you know, my rigid body right here. I, I can have some kind of rigid body, right? Rotating about this point A, for example. And my origin is all the way out here, right? So in this case, use the exact same thing, same definition, except here, R. This R right here is measured from A to B, okay? So this R should now become the displacement from A to B, okay? So R should be something like this, okay? But if you write this way, it's a little clumsy, so it'll simplify a little bit, okay? So instead of writing it A arrow B, okay, we just write R, the position of B relative to A. Okay, relative displacement. Okay. So R of B, the position of B, okay, because B is the point where this F, this force is applied. Right? So R of B relative to point A. Okay? So, versus this case right here. Now, this R right here. Now, if I call this, uh, uh, okay, so if I call this point B, right? Okay, same thing here. But point B, okay, this R is measured from the origin, right? So, I don't have to give any subscript, okay? If I want, this is equivalent to R of point B relative to origin, to O, okay? But I don't have to. I don't have to uh, I'll emphasize that this is slash O, okay? So I can just write R of point B, that's all. In this case, however, since point A is not origin, so let's go right. R vector of point B slash A. So, this is so B relative to A. And this exactly go to the R of B minus R of point A. Okay, so this vector minus this vector, which means RB is measured from O. So, this right here. So, this is RB minus RA. RA is this guy right here. RA. Okay? So this vector minus this vector gives you this R B slash A. Okay? Which is exactly this right here. So this is R B slash A. That's all. So in this case you're working in relative position. Okay? Or displacement. So let's plug this back in here, this definition. It works exactly the same way.